So this is it, the final big push with the car. Right here we're cutting out the boot door to let out the hot air from the radiator and the fans that are in behind there. We're using a jigsaw, marked it up with masking tape and cut it all out and it actually turned out quite nice. It's a nice simple design uh, utilising the strength inside the boot lid. Here we just got our brand new 1850mm Big Country Labs wing supplied by Driftworks. Um, we've been using a fiberglass version in the other cars and now we've switched to this carbon blade which is a lot lighter, stronger and looks absolutely awesome. We're using their new in plates as well. We worked really hard all day to get the car complete and this was our first time leaving it down on the ground. First test tomorrow, 2.56 in the morning. Just about to bring it up to Mike's workshop and give it its first alignment. She is slammed. Look at how far the back one has been up. Oh yeah. <laughs> it can literally squat till it touches the ground. <laughs> it's still too low. <laughs> it looks unreal. But it won't move a inch. So this was our first time actually leaving the car down full weight for the first time. And uh, I quickly realized it was very, very low. Um, needed some trimming around the arches and the side skirts to get the, the wheels to lock. But I didn't want to raise it up. So it's been a while since we're here in Mandela Park. Very lucky before the car um, gets shipped out. The guys at Drift Games organized so we could uh, get a quick test in. And uh, yeah, so first time ever driving the car will be today. Hopefully. Last night was a long night, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yesterday was long. You, you started at what, 6 a.m. yesterday? Yeah. I started at half past seven. You worked on until 1 a.m. this morning, and I was working till uh, 4 and then back up at 7 again to finish the car. So, um,. A few small little problems, just finishing everything as much as we could to uh, to get to this point because we didn't want to bring the car up with no windows and no bits and pieces so we just wanted to have the car as finished as possible and uh, yeah, now we're here, it's just after lunch hopefully we get a few videos, pictures and uh, the car does what it's supposed to do so I'm very excited got the good old helmet out today that's an uh, airbrush of um, my dad controlling the throttle pedal on um, their old rally car back in their rallying days. My uncle driving the car, so it's a cool memory to have on the helmet. Um, the team got me this helmet for uh, 2018 in the US, and as you can see, I haven't worn it since. So it's a cool day to wear such a cool helmet. Right, let's talking, let's get the car out. I'm excited, I'm absolutely exhausted, but uh, it's like, oh! Windy. <laughs> this is gonna wake me up, that is for sure. Hey, let's get her out. Alright, I'll stay in here for the day. Left the small bit? Yeah.
back on track and uh, man it feels so good to drift this car out of the box it's cool it feels pretty grippy um, just first, first impression what it could be because I've not been in a car for so long but in general very good I have a little shake in my bar of steering but that could be something small um, and should be easy to fix on an S chassis but in general really really happy so let's go for another run before race So the tires knocked off her, they wore very, very well.
that's it, just in after the last run. Had some tandem fun with Dave in the Mustang. Really enjoyed it. It's my first time doing tandem in months. Not a mind driving, uh, but very enjoyable. We have a few small uh, little issues with the car, but nothing major. Um, the clutch isn't returning 100%, so we want to change the master cylinder. We think the size is a little bit too small on the master. And uh, what else? A little shaking from the power steering, but it seems to be getting better with driving. So, in general, very, very happy, man. The car is good, it seems fast, it seems. I enjoy driving it, suits my driving style, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, tidy up all the last bits and pieces, get some sleep tonight because I'm absolutely exhausted, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant day. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll see what's next. Shipping the car next week.